Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about code reviews. So last time we talked about merge requests. Um, code reviews is pretty much uh, closely tied to merge requests because you would typically make your code reviews inside your merge requests. So the purpose of code reviews is to uh, make sure that any changes that's been updated to your main is uh, all good and it won't break anything or if there's any like debug, like sort of bugs that needs to be debugged, any errors or anything that's not following certain standards, that's where it's a good place to catch them, okay? So let's say we have, um, we go to changes typically and the code, the code reviewer typically will look at this and see what the changes have been made and, you know, make comments about it. So maybe the person here might say like, for example, well, first off before you're reviewing, uh, the very first step is you want to let the person or your team know that it's no longer in draft mode and it's ready. So you want to go to edit and remove the mark as draft. And notice it says here, drafts cannot be merged until marked ready. Okay. So if I go save changes, so now the draft, um, the draft prefix here disappeared. So um, that lets people know that it's not um, being edit it and then right here there's like a merge button we'll talk about merge later on but here under changes we could make uh, comments so notice that at different lines of code I can uh, make a comment if I need to right so if I hover over it it says add a comment to this line or drag for multiple lines so I could go ahead and make a comment here for example and I said uh, remove super okay So I could add a comment right here. And then I, the person who, right now I'm reviewing my own code, but typically this might be someone else. So once you do that, uh, you could go ahead and say, make some comment to address the comment that someone else made. And then once you do that, you could resolve thread if um, the person fixed the issue, okay? So that's how you can make uh, comments in your code reviews. And then sometimes if it's a general comment, you could make a comment here as well. So it just kind of depends on uh, the style. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up uh, code reviews. And uh, if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.